Welcome back to the 1812 Wickham House here at the Valentine Museum. This week's collection's connection is the tall case clock behind me. I'm 5'4", so you can see it definitely lives up to its name. The clock dates from around 1810, and its mahogany and white pine case contains an eight-day time and strike movement, which means it could run for eight days before it needs to be wound, and it will chime or strike on the hour. And there's actually a name painted on the iron dial that reads William McCabe Richmond. McCabe was a clockmaker originally trained in Concord, Massachusetts. By 1804, he moved here to Richmond and began placing advertisements in local newspapers, indicating that he could repair clocks and watches of every description. But McCabe also sold clocks, noting that he carried a large stock of eight-day clocks, just like this one, and watches and accessories of all kinds in his shop on Main Street. However, despite being trained as a clockmaker and having his name on the dial, it's unlikely McCabe actually made this clock because it's so strikingly similar to the type of tall case clocks manufactured by the Willard family of Roxbury and Boston, Massachusetts, who are often considered the most famous clockmaking family in America. The Roxbury style mahogany and white pine tall cases that the Willards became known for often featured the same fretwork gallery on top of the hood, which had an arched hood door and detached fluted columns on the upper case, as well as having inset fluted quarter columns with brass capitals and a rectangular trunk door that either had inlaid or in this case molded edges on the lower case. These stylistic similarities to documented Willard examples, as well as their known practice of exporting clocks south to be sold by local retailers, makes it unlikely that McCabe actually manufactured this clock himself. Instead, he likely applied his name to a piece that he imported from New England. However, this was not meant to deceive or confuse his customers, but was instead a matter of practicality. A tall case weight-driven movement, like this one, required annual maintenance and cleaning, and therefore McCabe, as the retailer and hopeful future repairer of this clock, placed his name where it would be most obviously seen as it was wound each week, a subtle reminder of where to return when it was time for that annual service. To connect to more Richmond history, come visit us at the Valentine Museum and look forward to more videos on great objects in our collection coming soon.